So one more need, thing I need to show you before I'm traveling back to the future and just leaving this series alone again for a while is to show you how we can actually try and log in now with our actual user setup that we just proved was working. So we're going to make this command into a Postman command and it needs to be a post request and it needs to be with um, the access slash auth, right? So we're going to start out by doing that. It's a post request and this is the route that we're looking for slash auth in the end. The next step is the authorization. I'm going to use basic auth right now. And the way you do that is pretty much just by explaining the username and the password for the basic auth. So I'm doing that, the, the username or email, and this is my password. And then I do update request. And then what happens is it adds a new authorization. Let me just try and remove it to show it here. Uh, when I do notice there's no header here right now, but when I, when I do update request, it adds this extra header for me right here, which is actually an encrypted version of what I just showed you in the authorization. So I can now send a request to the backend as that specific user. The body here, you need to also go in and select raw, JSON, and then add the access token like we did last time. And that part is actually what he's showing right here. So now we should actually be able to log in. Let's try it. Post, fire. There we go, I get a request back with an actual token. I'm going to copy this token because I need it later. So I'm just going to keep that because now I wanna, now I actually figured out that I can actually log in and get a token back. So now I wanna try in future requests to just use that token to get information without actually having to do authentication each time. So let me just get rid of this, going back to no auth, adding a header called authorization. And here I'm going to call it a bearer header. And that's how you send a token to the backend, a JWT token. So that's what I'm going to do here. So here we have the bearer token, we have authorization, and that's pretty much all for the get request because you can't put body information in a get request. Let's see if we can get the information about me, the specific user locked in right now. We can't get me, so there was some kind of error there. And of course that's because I need to say users here slash me because the me actually is under users. So let me try again. And there we go, now I actually got the specific version of me out here that I can now use in a profile page or something like that. Just to prove that it's actually not working well with the authorization token, I'll just remove it here and do another send and I'll actually get nothing back, but it will be a 401 unauthorized exception, right? So I need the token now to actually log in. So I'll just do it again here to show you that it's actually working. So we got access, we got security, man. Everything's running. So get yourself a beer and enjoy it. You just created a REST API on a live environment on Heroku and we can now use it in the first Angular 2 application that I'm building for you guys. So see you later in the course planner. Go and check my channel if you want to find more about the course planner and I will now switch there and I'll start working on two different videos. One for a Firebase REST API and one for a MeanStack REST API. Have fun, see you in the next lessons.